Hey, appreciate you being here. Obviously, a really good win for our football program and team. Uh, yeah, I just told our team it's good to be one of them in Southern Conference. Hadn't, hadn't been that since we've been back here. So, uh, and I, I knew it would be a challenge. Uh, really pleased with how we started the football game. Um, did some really good things. Played a ton of kids. Um, you know, it, I, 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 you know, we got a little sloppy at times. You know, we got to correct some some penalties and you know had some turnovers and and different things. But uh, you know, I think all those things are correctable things. Uh, again, I just thought. Our kids were physical, got after it. You know, I know, I know we ran the football pretty good. Um, I don't think Darren maybe had his best day, um, but you know he was still solid in what he did. And um, I think, um, yeah, I think it's probably good for us a little bit at times. I, I think you got to be a little careful. The last couple of weeks, of some people, a lot of people telling you, "Oh, you're you're good. You played good at Virginia Tech, and you did this and did that." And I thought at times we were a little bit sloppy. Uh, so we, we got some great things to learn from. It's always great to learn when you get a win. Uh, and, you know, and again, we did some really good things. But uh, I know we got some turnovers, and, and I think we had a bunch of yards, you know, on offense. And, um, you know, we scored a bunch of points. And, uh, but, uh, but, no, again, good, beat, good, beat, good, good start for the Southern Conference play and get to come back here again next week. So with that, we'll, any questions you have? Uh, Coach, obviously the competition has been what it's been this year, but the third quarter has been kind of a, a struggle for you guys this year. Uh, how big was it to kind of keep up the momentum that you built in the first half of the third quarter today? Well, that was big. I mean, these guys will tell you something. It's the last thing I said to them, you know, is, is we, hadn't, we hadn't been real good in the third quarter, and uh, I just, you know, couldn't be more pleased with how we came out and, you know, kick off and kind of stop. And, and um, no, that, so that was big. You know, we talked about – you know, playing a complete football game, which we did, uh, both sides of the ball, kicking game. Um, so, you know, it, it was good to play a complete football game, even with a bunch of kind of mistakes. You know, and, and again, when you're playing so many guys in there, you're going to have a little bit more of that. Um, but, uh, but no, that's a, you know, always trying to improve, you know, and for us, it's just can we come back and continue to improve. You know, coach, your first drive, four plays, and 79 yards and right off the bat get the big pass play completion and then you right. come back you get you get the punt and right. force them to punt and then you ha you put together a 12 play 77 yard drive so you, you had one quick one and, and you held onto the ball quite a bit and your defense uh, they only had four possessions in the first half kept the ball right. away from them yeah they did you know really I was looking at the half I, you know I obviously wasn't happy with how the half ended you know we shouldn't have given up three points there at the end shouldn't have given up the drive and then we got a dumb penalty that, that gave them a field goal there at the very end. I thought probably other than that, and then you know after the after the surprise kick that we got, you know we, we turned the ball out, you know we turned it over down on the pitch, and if, you know it's the same play we scored on with Corey, and he made I think it was probably a touchdown. Instead, it's a negative 15 yard fumble, you know and that's the stuff we and you know and he he, he literally didn't wasn't sure who he's pitching it to because the nature of the formation a little bit, and that's just a little bit hadn't done it a ton, he done it a lot at practice, but you know probably other than that, and I you know they had a I think that one drive was about 15 plays. You know, we had a bunch of chances on third down to, to get them off, maybe the one scoring drive of the first half. And then I think even the touchdown maybe was third and nine. Uh, you, you know, but other than that, I was, I was pretty pleased with how we, how we played. Your four top rushers were uh, in excess of 80 yards. Uh, what has changed last year to this year in uh, the front or you know, the, the running back core that's made that possible? I think it's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, it starts with the guys up front. We have, and these guys will tell you, we, we got some guys to hand it to. We really do. We got some guys to hand it to. We're playing better up front. Our quarterbacks are allowing us to do a lot of things that gives us a chance to get the ball to them. You know, certainly the threat of the passing game changes all that, uh, which we have. Uh, and their defense done a good job getting us the ball, you know. So I, I just think it's been a great, great group effort. Uh, and, you know, I, I told you, you know, I said that about Devin last week, Devin Abrams, you're going to see him mention. I knew Corey. Corey's finally healthy, you know, and if you could – I wouldn't worry about them catching him when he popped, when he popped that one. So, uh, you know, so I, I just think it's been more of a group effort than anything else. And I think understanding, you know, I think Coach Corral will be the first one to tell you too, just, you know, certainly, you know, we kind of know who we are and, and what we can do. And, you know, 
we spent the majority of the last year, at least first half of the year, trying to figure that out last year. What really could we do offensively? And, and you mentioned Corey. Corey had an 83 yard scamper. That was his long, what his long for the day or his largest rush of the day. What do you do in preparation? How does it feel to be back in 100% healthy? Uh, it's, it's about time, I'd say. But, uh, you know, I've just been going to treatment, you know, and, you know, uh, uh, the uh, running back group is like it's 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 a real deep. So you know, at practice I'm being I'm being pushed by Wayne behind me. Then I, then I got Devin Wynn in front of me. So it's just a constant grind, grind, grind every day to like you know be better each and every game. You know, Mark's the other thing. Well, you know, held Wayne today. Wayne Wayne's had a little bit of a sore ankle, and so he didn't play today. You know, and uh, you know, so we held him. He certainly would have helped us special teams. You know, we had Devin back returning kickoffs primarily for that reason. Uh, but, yeah, I, you know, and, I, and those guys will tell you, you play that position, it's going to take some guys. You, you, I mean, throughout the year, they're going to – they just get hit a bunch. You know, that's why the shelf life of those guys in the NFL is not real long uh, just because they, they take such a beating, you know. And, uh, and again, we'll, we'll need all of them. Brian, a question for you. Uh, you were facing a team today that was averaging almost 43 points a game, well over 400 yards. You guys held them way under that. What was the, uh, the specific kind of approaches you guys had today to, to do what you did? Well, all week, Coach Hendricks, he challenged all of us. He said it's about time. We all need to elevate our game. And defense, you know, we want to be the best defense out there every every possible play. And just all week was preparation. We are grinding hard, doing everything we need to do. We, we see who the key guys were, and we were making sure that we are going to be in the right spot at the right time. And when your time is called, you got to execute the play. And I thought we did a better job than uh, the other weeks in the past uh, executing and and once again, like second half, we did a great job. We had a second half shutout. Like um, we didn't do that uh, throughout the other games in the past, but uh, right now we know what we have to do, and we know when we have to, we, when we have a chance to end people, we got to end them. Coach, could you um, give your thoughts on, on specifically the defense today? I mean, that, that Mercer, that's Mercer's most lopsided loss in SoCon play ever, and they they they're used to playing close games and scoring a lot of points. Uh, yeah, you know what? I just think I think our, our you know I, you know it's funny. I think I think those defensive guys and Dwayne probably are in some similar situations we were in a year ago. You know, first first time for him calling it. Even though we do have a lot of guys back, but a lot of it is really figuring out what we've what, you know what our true identity is and and you know trusting our back half guys. You know, obviously we can be really good back there and on the corner spots. If you can do a few more things up front, you can go get after guys. I knew the quarterback was a good player, could run it and throw it. And he, you know, we made him earn him today. He uh, he made some plays with his feet, made some plays throwing it. You know, the back big back hurt us a year ago. Uh, and I thought we did a pretty good job against them, you know, pretty much all day. I, you know, just at, sometimes we, you know, we've got to be a good tackling team and, and we got to get everybody to the football. And our guys do a pretty good job of that. But those are, you know, those are just things we got to continue to continue to work upon. But I just think a lot of it's having some older guys, having some depth. Um, you know, we, we can play a bunch of guys. You know, some, some, some guys continue to show up. Um, and, and, you know, hopefully that's something we can continue to continue to build upon. Corey, what's it like to be in this offense. I mean, you, you can do so many different things. It's got to be fun, you know. It's it, difficult to stop you guys. Uh, I love it. Uh, you know, I I kind of I, I kind of came from something similar in high school before I moved to Evans, but uh, it just puts like a, a lot on a defensive mind to, to like you know control the, all the motions, then do your right job. But I feel like this year we we come together more as a, more as a team, and now we're like really executing every play, every play, and we're uh, trying, trying not to let off on them anymore. It, it appears you do a lot of different things. Is it difficult to grasp, to get a hold of? I mean, now that you've been in the program uh, a couple of years? Uh, well, our, our coach kind of like really make it simple for us. So it's, it, it's not really a hard job to do. You just got to pay attention and, and get uh, a lot of mental reps practice. I, and Brian, I'll, I'll say yeah. this. I, I do think, Corey, you know, that, that position, we, we ask a lot of those guys because we, we line them up everywhere. You know, and, and the motions. And Brian can tell you from practicing against it. Um, you know, I, I mean, even when we practice, we try to segment a few things just to try to simplify things a little bit for them. But we do ask a lot of those guys, and sometimes I'm a little impatient with them about <laughs> getting lined up and such. But they, uh, 
they you know the good thing about these guys they can it rolls right off their back so uh but it, and really like i said both sides of the ball we've done that yeah and brian uh, you, you guys were happy when you got some some interceptions today huh You're celebrating over there on the <laughs> sideline it's good to get get a couple of in it yeah it was a great feeling uh especially in that safety group we had three safeties today again the interception um you would have had another one yeah <laughs> yeah there. apparently yeah that, I, I, I was going to ask him about that trip. I, was he really going to try to return it? Or I, it fall down? I was trying to return it. Uh, I think God told me, go ahead, go down. It's getting called back. And <laughs> yeah, we know those don't always end in our favor. But, yeah. Uh, Brian, no big deal there. Any other questions from the room? Uh, Coach, I wanted to ask, just kind of looking at the defense, it, you had uh, like day one was a player you had mentioned Monday yeah. who he's come on and – and there were a lot of times you had both uh, Day One and Jordan on the field at the same time, and he was, right. he got a sack, but he also was looked like he was playing as a defensive back. Was that just kind of what was designed for today? And how yeah, well, I, you know, I think any any coach going to try to get your best players on the field. He's shown he's a really good player for us. He's made a lot of plays when he's been out there, and I think he, I guess he's the one that dropped the. <laughs> he dropped he dropped the other one that would have been it would have oh. been a night. He might have run with that one for a while, but you know, I, I just think we're always trying to get our better players on the field, you know, and uh he's certainly a guy that has earned the right to be out there more, uh, just because he's been so productive, you know, when he's been out there. And fortunately we got a lot of those guys, you know, and uh, you know, and, and I hope as we go along we'll get a few more I think there are a few more guys out there like that that can can, can maybe be that way. And you know, Dominic Roberto, I think Dominic we had not played uh, we had not played him until last week. And then, you know, when Carson had been out and didn't think he was going to be back, we just felt like we had to take something off Devin Abrams. He's playing too many plays. So I think Dominic played six plays last week, and he played quite a few today and, and, and was really productive. And, you know, I don't know how that one – you know, if you get a guy back, can you still register him? I don't know. Uh, that's the kind of stuff. We don't want to just throw a guy in there and burn a game or burn some time just to be doing it. but. We felt like in his case, he was the guy that was going to have to play the day to help us, you know, get through the game. So, but again, day one's a, he's a great example of that. Uh, in addition to their offense, the other thing they came in here good doing was uh, the return game, right. uh, special teams. And I thought you neutralized that as well because Grace Natkins did his thing. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's an easy way to do that. You know, if you'll kick that thing in there and don't let him, but I, I know he brought a couple out. And I know Coach Wright has done a great job with that kickoff team. And instilling a, instilling a demeanor in them, uh, you know, we felt like the guys probably one of the better return guys in the league. And we thought we were one of the better cover teams in the league. And uh, we obviously got a great kicker that can kick it in there. But they took a lot of pride in that this week. And yeah, you know, I, I think they were kind of a few of them were kind of wanting him to bring one out, you know. And uh, again, I thought they did a good job of getting after him. You know, the, we thought the little middle bloop was there, and we executed that well and got it. And, they went down there and fumbled, uh, but uh, I, we just thought we just saw it was there, and and, and uh, you know, so that that was a good execution. And I just think you know our, our kicking team has been really really solid, uh, and we just felt like I really have challenged them. It's time to you know game changing kind of play, scoring a touchdown, getting a block somewhere. Those are things we just got to continue to continue to work at. And you know, also, like, hey, especially after last week, um, <laughs> just kind of flushed it out of your And then they, and then they one. asked for a review. Right. So I asked if it was going <laughs> to Greensboro for the. I asked was it, I said, y'all send the review to Greensboro. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of. They actually they knew all about it too because they asked me about it before the game. But you know, they said the thing of reviewing to see if Grayson had touched it. And he said, Coach, I, I promise you, I didn't touch it. I actually think their guy touched it first. You know, I think he kind of squirted through there. Maybe we could have gotten it and he touched it. But, uh, but no, that was, a, that was a good one to give. I knew we'd had him on the field a long time. You know, in the, and, you know, our defense hadn't been on the field a lot. Uh, I just wish we'd have finished that drive right there. And Coach, just a moment about the upcoming game next week. And I know it was a tough one last year. And just hmm. kind of get your thoughts on uh, – Well, I say that. I told our guys I don't like to talk about next week very much after a Saturday. You know, I like to enjoy it because yeah. we don't get to enjoy them very long. I remember I, I told them, though, and they'll tell you I told them. I remember that feeling sitting on that bus, you know, and I've been doing this a long time, and that was a, you know, it was just, I'll remember we just, if we had just made one play anywhere, you know, and obviously made some mistakes, but we, we're not even remotely close to that same team that went up there and played. So, you know, uh, we're just happy to be 1-0 and got a really good team coming in here.
next week at our place. We think we're pretty good at home. And uh, we just got to have a great week of practice. And, and I, you know, our kids, I don't, I don't worry about that. I, I, know, they'll, I know they'll prepare. And, and, uh, but they're, they're, they're a good football team. They're, you know, they didn't back into that a year ago. They won a bunch of close games. And uh, so it'll, it'll be a challenge. All right. We good? Thank you very much for coming by. Thank you, guys. Good job.